just want to show the moss on this tree that I'm using for a little kind of a camera resting area here. It's kind of nice look. Hey everybody, it's just me, Ted1969 on YouTube and uh, Ted Thomas on Facebook. Uh, so it's January 7th of 2021. Today I wanted to talk about uh, something that's really important this time of year. It's been rainy and damp with a little bit of snow on the ground as you might be able to see from the video. And I'm just across from my apartment in a little uh, overgrown field with trees that are probably uh, 50 or so years old. Uh, so anyway, it's overgrown, it's swampy, and this is the kind of terrain you might find yourself in. Uh, it's been raining on and off for a couple of days, melting all this snow. Right now it's uh, 4 degrees around or so Celsius, so that's probably just a whisker above freezing. Uh, in Fahrenheit, probably like 35, 37 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe. Uh, so yeah, what would you do if you were hiking or lost somewhere, hunting or whatever, and you needed to get a fire started in all this dampness? It's, what we're going to talk about today, though, is pencil sharpener, and ideally the kind that comes with a little container to hold the shavings. And what I've done today is I've just found some sticks laying around on the ground here. And all I did was I took the bark off because the bark was pretty soaked and soggy. So I didn't need that. And I've shaven it in my pencil sharpener. And as it turned out, it was a good thing I came out today to make this video. Anyway, the reason I say it's a good thing I came out today, I actually broke the blade out of this one here just trying to get some shavings out. So I've been reverting to the little hole. And all I've done is I've just given it a few turns and I've filled this container with enough shavings to get this going. Comes out, looks like a pencil tip, right? Yeah, so yeah, this is just a stick that's been laying around on the ground. It's a little wet inside as I can feel, but hopefully not too badly. I've got a few nice pencil shavings in here that have been collected in the little plastic dish and let's see i can maybe just set these out maybe right here on this log and i can always make sure this is out nicely afterwards so from there one thing i always have on me and i wear it on my belt is my survival tool multi uh, tool and i've got uh, attached to that just this cheap little fire striker. You can get better ones. This one works for me quite well. I've started dozens and dozens of fires with it. So, I would put this right here among all my pile. I probably don't have enough. And I'm scattering it. And it's soaking up dampness so maybe what you'd want to do is have a bit of tin foil with you in uh, with your dryer lint you could use that and this or one or the other and you would uh, get it started in that manner and that broke well wow. What a great day. Okay. Closing hey everybody, down. it's Ted here. So yeah, we had been outside and shooting that video uh, and the uh, little treed in area across the street from the apartment and I had all those failures happen on me. So uh, it was kind of funny to uh, go through it all thinking I was going to make a pretty serious video. But I guess we can take away a couple of lessons on it. Uh, I was hoping to just have a nice clear-cut video of me getting those shavings and start the fire with the fire striker, showing how it could happen pretty easy. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, so it's good, like I say, to know that this happened under controlled circumstances within literally just uh, a couple of hundred feet of my door, if it was even that far. Um, so that... Uh, you know, it's better that it happened there than being out in the, the woolly in the wild and having it happen when I really needed this stuff to work. So I can laugh it off today. And, you know, don't take yourself too seriously, right? You got to forgive yourself. It's all a 
Yeah, so we found out that this little cheapy uh, pencil sharpener, which I probably got from a dollar store or something, uh, is not the tool that I need. It looks like uh, the blades were just kind of set into the plastic with a tiny half rivet or something. So I'll try and find a better one of those. And the fire striker broke and uh, it doesn't owe me too much. It looks like I had worn it down quite thinly because when I first started using it, it would take me quite a few strokes to get any kind of fire going. As you can see right now, it's probably good as a standard head screwdriver. Uh, not that I need that. So yeah, it's going in the garbage pretty much. Uh, 10 bucks. I can buy more and I got my money's worth out of that one more and again. So uh, good to know these things can fail. Good to have them fail when you don't really rely on them that much. So that was the point of uh, going out today was to show you that. I'm glad it happened because hey, now we can make a fun blooper video about it and laugh it off. So, up until the point I actually make another live in the wild video, uh, what you want to do is get yourself a good pencil sharpener. Now I have some in my pencil cases that are made out of metal and I think they're probably like Statler or something higher quality. So maybe I'll even try and use one of those much and I'll just get another one of these at Canadian Tire for now and maybe I'll look on Amazon for something that's a little more robust and beefier. Now I just like the fact that it's so compact you can put it in your pocket and you barely notice it's there. So anyhow that's this part of the video and I'm going to edit it all up and we'll see how we do with it. Hope everyone's having a great 2021.